Welcome guys, so today's workout um, depends on if you have a machine available or do it as a running workout. You're gonna spend five to 10 minutes on an easy pace. So either you jog or if you have a rowing machine, a bike, regular pace just to get warmed up. Then we're gonna do three rounds of one minute increased pace, one full minute of rest, kind of interval style. The workout of today is gonna be five rounds of max calorie rows or uh, meters in run. Or if you have a bike, you go there for calories, of course, and Turkish get-ups. So five rounds where you first do one full minute trying to get as many reps, means calories or meters as possible. The remaining, you'll have to do Turkish get-up to get a total of 40 reps each round. So it seems complicated on the beginning, but for example, if you did 20 calories, you'll have to complete 20 more Turkish get-ups for the one full round. So you would do that five times. So depending on, of course, that can vary each round, but you always want 40 total reps per round. If you go for running, you can calculate 60 meter count as five reps. So if you got 300 meter, you already have 25 uh, reps. So you have to do 15 more Turkish get-ups. Okay, so we are gonna go over the Turkish get-up. So depending on what you have available, you're gonna use it. Shouldn't be too heavy. You wanna feel comfortable moving through. So if I start, left arm up, my left leg is going to be bended, my right arm is to the side. I'm going to come up to the elbow, up on my hand, hip goes up, so I have space for my leg to go through. I'm in a lunge, I stand up, the right leg goes back, hand to the side, foot in front, Hip goes down, elbow down, fully down. Then I switch side, do the same thing. All right, guys, so make sure alternate each Turkish get up, preferably, and enjoy. 